Cara Delevingne, she's in Valerian, which you can see in theaters. But she also, as part of the soundtrack for that, is releasing a music video, which kind of signals a further entree into the world of music, which she's been toying with. But let's take a look at her new music video for the song, which is called I Feel Everything. Those eyes keep me up longer than any other pill. And I know being together, we feel like forever. But now, more than ever, I feel everything. Feeling everything. You make me feel so crazy. I've never I felt so sick. Kind of an issue with this video is that the video seems so disjointed from the clips that they're showing of Valerian. Yes. So it's you, yeah, you sort it's of weird. forget that it's a song from Valerian. And you're like, oh, oh, cool. Okay, then back to the Carola Delavine uh, song. Yeah. Well, let's get our thoughts. Five words or oh, less. Cool. Directed by my ex boss. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care about music. Nice. <gasps> She's right. Besson the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luke Besson yeah. is his name. Yeah. You worked for him. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did the. F I worked for him for the first year of uh, development for Valerian. I set the meeting with him to meet with Cara Delevingne. So look at that. You're welcome. Right here. Wow. Right here. <laughs> wow. She essentially is responsible. This is, this is Basically, your yeah. This is all me. No. Uh, this is. This, I will. This is kind of interesting. It's kind of weird for me to talk about because I do feel like. A little like close to it. I know that the movie hasn't done so well domestically. We'll you see how it does in this fight. internationally. Yeah, I was I was rooting for this movie. Um, I really liked the casting of Cara Delevingne. To be honest, I never liked the casting of Dane DeHaan. I think he's a talented actor, but I thought that was a weird choice. I think I even told that to Luke at the time. Anyway, um, doesn't matter anymore. What I think is interesting is that Cara Delevingne came up with this song, and a lot of people are like, "What? You think she can sing now?" What I would like to point out is that she's actually very musical. You can debate her singing voice, but she plays guitar, she plays drums. She was on, I believe, a Spanish talk show, and she showed off her talents doing both. Where she she was playing "Sweet Home uh, Alabama, Alabama" behind her head. Really? Yeah, on guitar. Like she's very musical. She's very talented. I don't know how I feel about this song. I know it's produced by. By Pharrell. So she's like a trick musician. She like plays musical she's, instruments like in. in no, she was, no, she was playing it hard, on the yes. right way, and then also just to show how proficient she is, she put it behind her head and was playing too. It's I not hard to do, by the way. Her head. Yeah, that's the trick about playing guitar behind your head. It's not that hard to do. But if you had never picked up a guitar before, it you would. So it she, would she yeah. never picked one up and she did that. No, she. What I'm saying is that she is obviously very proficient and does practice guitar, yeah. which is why she knows it looks impressive, though it is not that difficult to play guitar behind her head. She's, but that I think. Listen, when I see an actor, uh -huh. I don't expect them to literally be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. If they can do anything. Super awesome. Love hearing more. Love discovering like their hidden talents and their secret abilities. Um, that said, this I thought, yeah, I thought it was like the kind of song that wouldn't necessarily I, I wouldn't necessarily want to listen to at any given point. It seems like the kind of song that's in a movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She and her singing style to me felt more like she would be in really good in a musical. Um, and not necessarily as an independent recording artist. I don't, it, it did seem like a strange mix of a lyric video. And then, yeah, absolutely, they just kind of drop scenes from Valerian, which I thought looked cool. There is a part where she's covered in butterflies that I thought was awesome. And, yeah. and, and she's just such an interesting looking yes. person. Isn't that weird? I, I, don't, I don't find her like, I, I hate hot, the, yeah. But I, but like, I know she's beautiful, but I'm not attracted to her. I'm just more like, um, I'm just more like she's probably fascinated. watching him like ditto. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Brett is beautiful, but it's like, but I'm like fascinated looking at this person because I can't really pin her down in any. She has an X really factor good. quality. Yeah, to her, for, for sure. sure. There's like there's this intensity behind her that I think really reads through on the it's, camera, whether it's modeling. But I think that that intensity sometimes bleeds over when she acts, and that was sort of the problem that people had when with her turn in Suicide Squad, where it's like, look, you look intense, you look stunning, but it's a little much. Yeah, it's a li it's a She's little got a lot bit of face. much. But I think that she has a lot of potential as an actress. I also think we're we're seeing the Valerian promotion rely very heavily on 
the likes of Cara Delevingne's fan base and Rihanna's fan base. Rihanna's yeah. in the movie for like 20 minutes. Really? And that's it. that's a lot. He, yeah, I mean, that's it's, a lot. It's a I thought it was gonna be like five minutes or something. Right, well, there's a lot of she's, cameos. She's like, you hear her voice, I mean, she's a blue alien named Bubble. <laughs> named Love Bubble. it. It's a, I mean, I haven't even seen it yet, but I've read the script and I've seen all like the character designs and stuff, so. Um, this is pretty cool. So she produces a lot of uh, music with Pharrell. Apparently they've been working on an album together for the last three years, Whoa. which is a long time for producing an album. However, they also did appear together in a short Carl Lagerfeld film uh, for Chanel that I thought looked really cool. Mm -hmm. I um, that. And, and that that is another reason why I'm like, she seems like she's singing and she could sing well in a musical and I'd go watch that. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for any person who uh, like, and it doesn't seem like she's trying to like just for commercial reasons make the the changeover. It seems like she really is interested in this, and really? I have nothing you nothing so? to go by. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why I'm such a hater. I feel like this is this is just where we are. Like people have brands now, and the only like logical next step is to build your brand in like every part of entertainment. Mm. You can't just be a model. You <laughs> gotta be a model, an actor. What's next? Oh, I gotta be a musician too, so I have to get that out there as well to like build my brand in my empire. Who is the best rounded it, it, model, actor, singer? Well, I don't know about Bruce, model, but I Bruce know Willis. the answer. Bruce no. Willis is not the answer. Russell Crowe. To me, there's no comparison when it comes to someone no. that does so well in many different arenas. It's gotta be Donald Glover. Childish. Donald Halloween. Glover is a really good answer. And I, think I didn't that think about. When you write see it down. the success yeah. of Donald Glover, where mm -hmm. you know where he wrote the hit show Atlanta, uh, where he was writing for Thirty Rock, yeah. turn on Community. Like you, you can He does so many things very well. Not a model. Not you. I mean, he should be though. He could be. He's, he's a very like attractive a, you know, man. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. He's a model Seems citizen. like he'd be in like a Gap ad. Could be like a like a mall. A mall uh, fashion ad, yeah. You know, for the kind of not like it's Dior. It's even like a watch ad, like yeah, like that. But I think he'd be like he. They'd give him like in an Old Navy ad, but like a little. Maybe I'm saying Gap, maybe Banana Republic, but mm -hmm. not like. I think he could eventually. Like I feel like Pharrell is more of like the. You know, I'm going to be in a Chanel music video. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see more of Donald Glover. I didn't think about that, but as yet, he's not proven as a model. The answer is Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg did a uh, right. the Mark Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch had a like number. I don't want to say it's number one, but it was a a very it's a big recognizable hit, recognizable big song to this day. And he is. May I make a rebuttal? Yeah, Will Smith. Will Smith model? Question mark. Yeah, he modeled. But like Mark I, Wahlberg I was sexy model guy. He is. I, I'd say Mark Wahlberg is better known as a model because he did the underwear things. Others are, yeah, that I looked it up was like Rita Ora, but I think she started modeling after her music fame. Zendaya. Zendaya. Um, I wish we could say Selena Gomez, but she's a terrible actor. Taylor so. Swift, is, not an actress. That is hyperbole. Hey, what oh, about, wow, I'm sorry, I just stepped on that. Haley Steinfeld. Is started yeah. off as a child actress in True Grit, still my favorite performance of hers, yeah. and now has segued into music that I uh, do not love. Right, you were talking about this the other day. <laughs> not but but she's done it very successfully. She has found success, whether I like it or not doesn't matter. Yeah, and I think that if Cara Delevingne wants a piece of that, then we shouldn't limit celebrities to the arena that yeah. we got to know them in. I it just I think it's all about having a good team around you that will be like, all right, Cara, let's try everything. Feel everything yeah. just to see if Part it works. Of me feels Be true to yourself, but also have a team that will reel you back if you're kind of staying out of your lane. You're like, all right, let's stay true to yourself. Part of me feels though that this this whole model of having a few players that have like they sing, they dance, they act, like it limits the pool for other potential people that have zero like like, like you know, recognition. It's, it's strangely in, old school. Yeah. It's strangely like Frank Sinatra era, like. They call yeah. One know, of my, there's totally. an old joke that's like they call it a triple threat because you can sing, dance, and act. Yeah. None of those things are threatening. That's true. But like that is an era where like you had to be able to do all that stuff. Yeah. I don't think we're. I think it's one of the things where like it's not that big a trend right now. But when you think of one person who's trying to do it all, you can very easily think of like a handful of them. I don't know if Cara Delevingne's at the point where like she's gonna 
change everything. But it is interesting. I didn't hate the music video. I didn't hate the performance. I think it's interesting, and I I hope others who are able to perform try it. Yeah. Why, not? Why not? Give it a go. Her stare um, is so powerful. But don't take it too seriously. Like I see the the Bruce Willis band thing, and I get a little weirded out sometimes. <laughs> I know.